In March this year, an independent research company in the United States released a report stating that automation achieved by intelligent robots will significantly improve productivity in all walks of life. And China is currently the only country with the conditions to achieve a high level of automation. The report mentioned that the strong strength of China's manufacturing industry, combined with robotics technology, may pose an existential threat to the United States. It is worth noting that this is not an empty statement. In fact, in the Chinese Spring Festival TV program in January 2025, a Fushi humanoid robot named Unitree H1 was shown to the world. This robot has flexible upper limbs and moves as gracefully as a professional dancer. It runs very smoothly and naturally. No matter how complex the stage terrain is, it can easily cope with it, as if walking on flat ground. It can be said that the United States is worried about China's use of robotics as a potential threat. So, how advanced is China's robotics technology? Why can it scare the United States? If you like our video content, please click to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can receive all our latest video content. Now, let's get into today's topic. Between the early 21st century and 2010, humanoid robots experienced a transition from the exploration stage to the integrated development stage. Honda's ASIMO series of humanoid robots are the world's first humanoid robots to achieve bipedal walking, with the integrated capabilities of perception and intelligent control. It can perceive basic information about the surrounding environment and make simple judgments and adjust actions accordingly. ASIMO can not only climb stairs flexibly and run at a speed of 9 km per hour, but also jump on one leg, play football, pour tea in water, communicate with people in simple sign language, and even have conversations with the help of AI. Its release completely subverted people's perception of technology and also made countries announce that they would launch robot research and development projects, leading the world into the robot era. From 2010 to 2022, Humanoid robots entered a high dynamic stage of rapid development. However, during this period, Honda announced that it would stop the development of the ASIMO series of robots. At the same time, the United States successfully replaced Japan's position in the field of robots and became the most advanced country in the world. Boston Dynamics' Atlas Robot adopted a hydraulic drive system in 2013 which can maintain balance and achieve high dynamic movement in extremely challenging scenarios. Tesla's Optimus further integrated AI computing power in 2022, capable of grabbing objects weighing 20 kilograms and walking at a speed of eight kilometers per hour, laying the foundation for the application of humanoid robots in industrial scenarios. Nowadays, with the continuous development of AI technology, Humanoid robots have entered a more intelligent stage and have stronger perception, interaction, and decision-making capabilities. But did you know? In recent years, a country has surpassed the United States and become the global leader in the field of robotics. It is China. On the stage of this year's Chinese Spring Festival Gala, the Unitree H1 humanoid robot they developed instantly became the focus of the audience as soon as it appeared, and it can be called the world's top stream. These robots have upper limbs as flexible as professional dancers, and the speed and variety of their movements have reached the limit. Even the top acrobats can't help but admire them. Take Unitree H1 as an example. This robot is about 180 centimeters tall and weighs about 47 kilograms. The maximum joint torque can reach 360 Nm, and the joint degrees of freedom of a single leg and a single arm are 5 and 4 respectively. Its walking speed can reach 1.5 meters per second, and its running speed can reach 3.3 meters per second. Not only breaking the world record, but it is also said that its potential athletic ability is expected to exceed 5 meters per second. Of course, many people question that the video display on the internet may be too one-sided, showing only the most perfect demonstration at a certain time, and believe that Tesla and Boston Dynamics are still the top of the industry. But it is worth noting that the U.S. think tank semi-analysis subsequently released a 45-page analysis report 
that completely broke these doubts. So what's going on? According to my investigation, this report divides the humanoid robot industry chain into three core links, brain, body, and integrator. Among them, 73% of companies have confirmed their participation in the development of humanoid robots, and 77% of integrators are located in Asia. China, in particular, has a 63% market share in the humanoid robot supply chain, especially in the body link. The report also predicts that by 2050, China's humanoid robot market will reach 827.1 billion US dollars and the total volume will reach 59 million units. Among the 100 listed companies involved in the development of humanoid robots in the world, 56% are located in China. It is worth noting that 45% of the world's system integrators are also in China, and these integrators customize robots according to the needs of end users. According to data provided by market tracking agency IT Orange, in the first two months of this year, Chinese humanoid robot manufacturers received nearly 2.7 billion US dollars in new venture capital funds through 20 transactions, far higher than the only four transactions in the same period last year, with an amount of 1.6 billion US dollars. It can be seen that China's localization process in the field of robotics is progressing steadily and its rapid development of artificial intelligence technology is comparable to that of its American counterparts. Even more shocking is that China has maintained its position as the world's largest industrial robot market for 11 consecutive years, and the newly installed capacity in the past three years accounts for more than half of the global total. In 2023, China's robot installation volume reached 276,000 units accounting for 51% of the global market, an increase of 144% compared with 2020. At the same time, the market share of local brands jumped from 30% in 2020 to 49%, forming industrial clusters in the Yangtze River Delta and the Pearl River Delta, with more than 3,000 related companies. The self-sufficiency rate of core components has also increased from 40% in 2015 to 68%. Among them, Siasen Robot has achieved 95% localization of core components, while the localization rate of Eston Servo System has reached 82%. In contrast, the market share of local brands in the United States is only 18%, and the import dependence of core components exceeds 60%. In addition, China has also achieved a breakthrough in mass production in the field of humanoid robots. For example, Unitree G1 is equipped with a self-developed force control system and rare earth-free motor. With a repeatability accuracy of 0.5 millimeters, a battery life of 2 hours, a load capacity of 15 kilograms, and a price of only $16,000. In comparison, Tesla's Optimus is still in the laboratory stage with an estimated cost of more than $200,000 and a battery life of only one hour. From a comparison of technical parameters, Chinese products are already ahead of similar Western products in terms of cost control and energy efficiency. In addition, there is a serious problem of material dependence in the manufacture of robots in the United States. Taking a 5 kilograms load robotic arm as an example, the cost of manufacturing in China is only 45.7% of that in the United States. The key differences are, China's rare earth permanent magnet cost has been reduced by 64%, and it relies on 90% of its domestic production capacity. The cost of servo motors has been reduced by 30%, thanks to large-scale production. The cost of end effectors has also been reduced by 66.7%, achieved through vertical integration. According to statistics, China also has the most complete industrial system in the world, and its manufacturing value-added accounts for 30% of the world. In 2023, China's industrial robot production capacity reached 1.2 million units slash year. Lithium battery production capacity was 1, 200 GWh, and rare earth permanent magnet production capacity was 250,000 tons. In contrast, the United States has reduced 7 million manufacturing jobs since 2000, and the growth rate of robot density has slowed down, with only 260 robots per 10,000 people in 2023. 
China has listed robots as one of the seven strategic emerging industries through the 14th five-year plan and provided $10.6 billion in special subsidies in 2023, driving industrial investment of more than $68.9 billion. The U.S. Chips and Science Act does not provide enough support for the field of robots, resulting in the intensity of R&D investment of local American companies being only 60% of that of Chinese companies. More noteworthy is that China has achieved collective breakthroughs in many key technology fields. The force control accuracy has reached 0.1 n, which is at the international advanced level. The accuracy of visual recognition is as high as 99.97%, which is based on 1 million hours of labeled data. The response speed of motion control is 1 millisecond, which is better than the 2 milliseconds response speed of ABB's Yumi robot. In terms of R&D investment, Siasen Robotics' investment intensity is 15.45%, and Esten's is 14.67%, both higher than the 5.14% of the international giant FANUC. In terms of technical patents, China's total number of patent applications in the field of humanoid robots reached 6,618, ranking first in the world. In terms of valid invention patents, China also ranked second in the world with 1,699, second only to Japan. It is worth mentioning that the corporate representative of Uptech Robotics has surpassed the old company Honda with 763 valid patents and ranked first in the world. According to data from the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology of China, by July 2024, China will hold more than 190,000 valid patents related to robots, accounting for about two-thirds of the global total. In China, the commercialization path of humanoid robots is very clear. First, it will be implemented in the fields of industrial inspection and logistics handling, and then gradually expanded to medical and home scenarios. For example, Ubtech's Walker S1 has increased efficiency by 100% and stability by 30% in the application of BYD factory. In addition, Ubtech's Walker S has received more than 500 intention orders from many automobile manufacturers and is currently in a critical stage of industrialization. You should know that the market share of the four major global robot giants is continuing to decline. ABB has dropped from 22% in 2018 to 15.68%, and FANUC has dropped from 18% to 11.46%. At the same time, Chinese companies are accelerating overseas mergers and acquisitions, acquiring KUKA and transferring its production capacity to Asia, and also acquiring Germany's Kobotix to improve its technology level. Judging from these data, the global robot industry as a whole is in a state of decline, and only China's robot market is still growing. A report predicts that by 2030, China's robot density will exceed 1,000 units per 10,000 people. The humanoid robot market will reach $500 billion, and the manufacturing automation rate will increase to 85%. In terms of technology maturity, the penetration rate of collaborative robots is expected to reach 65% within five years while the penetration rate of humanoid robots will reach 40% within 10 years. Therefore, after the release of the report, the United States stated that China's robotics technology has begun to pose a threat to the United States. As a result, the anxiety of some U.S. lawmakers is not groundless. They have called for stricter export restrictions to prevent the further development of China's AI technology. In fact, the fundamental reason why the United States is so wary of the development of China's AI technology is that future wars and global competition may increasingly rely on the support of artificial intelligence. Technologies such as drones, robots, and automated weapons have become an important part of future wars. If a country can dominate AI technology, future global competition is likely to be dominated by it. Therefore, the United States naturally does not want to see China catch up or even surpass in this field. To not miss out on our future projects and news updates, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. We will continue to provide you with more exciting and interesting content.